Good morning, everybody. Steven from Break Free Homestead. Today, I figured, why don't we go over our goat house and our goat setup going into winter? I don't think I've really made a video on this before. I have a playlist over here full of how we built this, but let's get in to one video covering our whole setup. I'm Steven with Break Free Homestead. We provide new content weekly as we grow our homestead. Go down there, hit that like button, and if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that bell notifications, that way you know when we post a new video. Now, what we have here is a 30 by 60 enclosure for them using four foot woven wire. We've also put electric fencing around the top and the bottom. We're using an American Farmworks five mile solar charger. It's done us really well, and so far I have no complaints. So we set this up so it could be split into two 30 by 30 paddocks where you have two gates. I put these solar lights we got off Amazon, a four pack of them for a pretty reasonable price and they work pretty good. You come up, you know, they go on and uh, gives you enough light to get in there. We also have another one up there, another one at this gate and then I just threw one up there just in case somebody comes on the property, it'll turn on. But I definitely like those. I'll drop the link in the description down below. Since we do not have a buck right now, I just have this center divider rolled back. That way they can go on both sides. We'll go real quick on the boy side. This is the one we just made recently. And it's roughly like three and a half feet by eight feet. So let's check it out. Now this is nothing crazy. A couple of goats can live in here without issue. They have a nice bed in there. We made just a homemade uh, feeding trough that we can feed through the interior wall. We also have a, a tube that we can throw the hay pellets down into a feeder down here. Obviously they're not in here right now, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, pretty simple. Keep them nice and dry out of the wind. And then we'll go over here. Got some goaties feeding right now. Milo, Buddy. Shamrock over there. These two guys are weathers. She is ready to breed. All right, so we have a nice big bench along the back here. I kind of put some trim pieces on. It looked better, um, but you quickly realize that you need to get the poop off of there. What we did was we cut a little slit in there so you could just scrape everything over and then out on the ground into a bucket, whatever your choice is. Uh, we also used the steel corrugated roofing and we went with one clear plastic that way we get a lot of light in here it works awesome and then when you don't have any light we got this light me solar light it works pretty good on off switch uh, i'll show you the solar panel outside so here's a little tiny solar panel for the light in there we haven't had any issues with it besides the goats chewing it but I was able to uh, get that splice right back together and get it fixed up. Don't let your goats chew on your stuff. Here is the uh, feeding spot where we put the hay through and we put the pellets through. This doubles as my shovel holder. I just throw it right over there. It's convenient to have a flat shovel down here. That way you can just scrape this off every morning. Very important. I didn't want to lug hay down here every morning and feed and whatnot. So what we went with was I just made this floating shelf off the side of the frame of the uh, the build. We can fit two hay bales up here, and then we have the hay pellets here, and then we have sweet feed here for when we're gonna be feeding sweet feed to the females. Uh, over here, you could fit like a half a bale here. Uh, we kind of call it the overflow. If we get another bale, we still have a little bit left to we'll put it here. We also have a couple leads here, and then uh, their minerals and whatnot. I always have some extra poly wire down here for when they want to chew it. And then just a couple things we hang up over here. Nothing too crazy. It doesn't have to be extravagant. You know, it would be nice if we had a little bit more hay storage, but I think that's something we need to do in the future. Um, just not in this shelter. They just have a little salt lick down there. Uh, homemade uh, feeder. If you haven't seen that, we'll put the video up there somewhere. We'll lick a card and you can see how we built that. Then we just use a two by four, put three feeders up here. That way they don't have to fight over it. And then usually the middle one, we put some of their minerals in. They can go 
um, eat that whenever they feel the need. Now, usually in the summer, we try to keep this pretty clean, but since we're going into winter, uh, I'm okay with the hay staying on the ground, giving us some insulation. You know, I haven't had an issue with it yet. No smells or anything. They do waste a lot of hay, so if they're gonna waste it, it might as well insulate them a little bit. Now we do just keep their water outside in a bucket. Um, we're probably gonna get a bucket heater sometime soon here. We could just bring it down twice a day, which is not a huge issue. Or we just bring it down once a day because they only they only really drink one bucket uh, for three goats per day. So if you only have to do it once a day, that's not too bad. Get a bucket heater. Um, that way you don't have to worry about it. Break the ice out. Man, are you chewing on me or what? My little man. morning these are very nice very nice good goaties you just want to snuggle oh, yeah you got my pants all dirty all right guys that is it for today just wanted to give you a quick preview of what we got going in to winter with our three goats yes man I'm Steven with break free homestead we provide new content weekly as we grow our homestead we have if you like this stuff Drop down below, let us know what you like, what you don't like in the comments. If you would, go down there, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that bell notifications. That way you know when we post a new video. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. I really appreciate it.